Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about primary and act primary and secondary transport. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. Now, when we're talking uh, primary and secondary transport, we want to make sure that we're emphasizing those active transport principles. Uh, the idea of, of going against the concentration gradient. In other words, we're going to be sending uh, ions into same charge situations. Uh, we're going to be uh, molecules we're going to be sending them from an area where there's a little bit to an area where there's a whole bunch. So the exact opposite of how uh, primary, not primary, passive transport um, would work. Okay, so now when we think about active transport, uh, again, think about those antiporters that we talked about. Uh, if you think about if the sodium potassium pump is going to be uh, moving ions into two different directions, that's obviously an antiporter. Uh, but if you think about a neuron, uh, it sets at negative 70. And then when it fires and those channels open up, a bunch of positives go roaring into it. And enough to where it gets up to that positive 135 level. Uh, but because that's the case, it's got to get back down to its resting standpoint. Active transport uh, takes over and pumps all of those sodiums and potassiums out. But when they when they get pumped out, they're going in. They're going into a positive environment, which would be the opposite of what you think would happen. And that's the difference between active and passive transport, moving things against the concentration gradient. And of course, the energy is supplied by ATP. All right, now when we think about primary active transport, uh, we want we got to we're going to begin to lay the foundation for understanding coupled transport. Okay, coupled transport. It's the idea of we're going to use the energy that is used for the first transport to help supply the energy for the second transport. And the way to think about this is that ATP molecule holds a bunch of energy. But it's the smallest energy molecule the cell has. So when that thing is separated and the energy is released, uh, essentially the energy needed to get primary active transport complete uh, is a lot less than the energy expended. Okay, so it's gonna the cell is gonna try to take that excess energy and use it for secondary active transport. In other words, bring something else in. So the way to think about it is is like this. You go to Dollar General, Family Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, whatever, any of those dollar type stores, um, and you go in there and you want to buy something. Okay, and it's only going to be a few dollars. But all you have is a hundred dollar bill. Okay, now in most situations, you would just get the change back, not a problem. But unfortunately, this Dollar Tree or this family dollar or whatever it might be has a sign that says, uh, We don't give change back. Okay, we don't give change back. So, yeah, you got a dilemma. The thing you want to buy maybe cost ten dollars. But all you have is a hundred dollar bill. Okay, so you got a couple options. One, you can just do without. But when it comes to sell, that's not a that's not an option. 
or two, your second choice is I can hand a person a $100 bill, get my $10 object, and then realize, all right, I'm just out 90 bucks. Okay. But your third option, which is the one the cell takes, is that you realize that, okay, uh, my object cost $10, and uh, I'm going to hand them a $100 bill. So what I'm also going to do then is to also get some things that I may not need today, but I may need in the future. So I'm going to spend that $100 and buying things that I don't necessarily need for now, but I will need in the future because the takeaway is you don't want to waste that $90. Okay, The cell doesn't want to waste that ATP energy. So it's going to bring something else in, may not need it now, but it's going to bring it in because it know it will need it in the future. And that's where primary and active transport work together uh, to make full use of the energy released by the ATP molecule. The initial transport, okay, it doesn't cost much, okay, but you got to break open a big bill to get it to happen. Okay, just your eye on uh moving through. But with secondary transport, okay, so the energy has been spent with ATP uh, and you got those ions moving across, but now what we're going to try to do is with a different protein as you can see and how cool a protein this one is because it looks like the bat signal. Um, but we're still moving sodiums in. Okay, that's what you can still see the sodiums right there, a little circle. But we're also bringing in a glucose molecule. Okay, now this energy, this transaction, you don't see any energy being used because we're using the energy okay, from the previous transaction. It'd be like if you could plug appliances into appliances. Okay. So you got a lamp that you got plugged into the wall and then you could then you could then plug the toaster into the lamp. So you're just using the energy from the first transport because you, you had to open up a big amount of energy and what you did didn't use up very much of it. So primary secondary transport comes along and uses the excess energy to get that done so the cell doesn't waste uh, any, any of the energy. Now, the process that we just described with primary and secondary transport is called a coupled transport. And it's called coupled. I know if you know what a coupler is, that will, that will be a big be a big help but that's something that connects the two things so the two transports even though they're different transports they're connected by the energy use the energy used uh, the primary transport had to use an ATP molecule which opened up a big amount of energy uh, and in the secondary use an excess of that energy uh, as to not to waste it. Just like with our family tree example in the $100 bill, uh, the idea is to not waste uh, that situation. Coupled transport. Well, well, that's our video on primary and secondary transport. Uh, the next time we get together, we're talking about bulk transport. So we'll see you then.